Okay, here we have the integral of the square root of the hyperbolic cosine of x minus 1. And the only choice we have that's apparent right now is to express this in its exponential form and subtract 1 from it and see where that leads us. So working with what's here inside of the uh, square root sign, the hyperbolic cosine of x, that is e to the x plus e to the minus x times one half. So this would equal one half of e to the x plus one over e to the x, which would equal one half of e to the 2x plus 1 divided by e to the x. So the hyperbolic cosine of x, that's going to be e to the 2x plus 1 divided by 2 times e to the x. And we have to subtract 1 from that, so we'll write it like this, minus 2e to the x divided by 2 times e to the x. So here we have e to the 2x minus 2 times e to the x. plus 1 divided by 2 times e to the x. And that's just this quantity now that's inside of the square root sign. Um, this is e to the x squared minus 2ex plus 1. It looks like this numerator here could be written out as e to the x minus 1 squared. This would be e to the 2x minus 2 times e to the x plus 1. And then we have this. And this then is what would be inside the square root sign. So it looks like we're going to have the integral, this integral here, of the hyperbolic cosine of x minus 1 dx, that will be equal to this integral. This is in the, is in the square root sign, so we'll have e to the x minus 1. This will be the square root of 2, so we'll take that to the outside. And this will be e to the x over 2 taking the square root of this quantity here. dx. And it looks like probably the best thing to do is just put this up into two integrals here, dividing u by e to the x over 2. So it looks like this would be equal to 1 over the square root of 2 times the integral of e to the x over 2 dx, and then we'll have minus 1 over the square root of 2, the integral of 1 divided by e to the x over 2. This would be e to the 0 divided by that, so this would be e to the minus x over 2 dx. So, looks like this might work out okay for us. This time, we took this, and then we expressed the hyperbolic cosine in terms of its basic exponential definition. And we got this integral into this one, which we can divide to and produce these two integrals. And looks like these are all set to go. Um, but this one here, we can say, let u...
equal x over 2 and then du will equal 1 half dx or 2 times du will equal dx so this integral here becomes this one here now becomes the integral of e to the x over 2 is e to the u and dx equals 2 times du so we're going to have 2 coming from here divided by the square root of 2 du nothing fancy there and then for this integral um, let's say we let p equal minus x over 2 so then it looks like dp will equal minus dx over 2 or minus 2 times dp will equal dx so this integral here then becomes we have minus 1 over the square root of 2 the integral e to the p and then dx is minus 2 dp so this will become plus 2 divided by the square root of 2 e to the p dp so here we have 2 really just very basic maneuvers here 2 divided by the square root of 2 the integral of e to the u is just e to the u which is this so we have e to the x over 2 e to the integral of this is just e to the u which is this plus 2 divided by the square root of 2 and the integral of e to the p is just e to the p p is this and we'll have an arbitrary constant that we'll stick in there in, in just a minute but we can factor this out this will equal 2 divided by the square root of 2 and then here we have times e to the x over 2 plus e to the minus x over 2 and 2 divided by the square root of 2 that is just the square root of 2 taken up to the numerator but this here this is just 2 times the hyperbolic cosine of x over 2. So we go back now to our original integral that was this and we can say that the integral of the square root of the hyperbolic cosine of x minus 1 dx will be equal to 2 times the square root of 2 times the hyperbolic cosine of x over 2 plus an arbitrary constant and that's it that should take care of the uh, integral so it wasn't too bad after all it was mainly just using our basic definitions here and performing this subtraction which got this integral here into the form of this integral and we could divide through and we got two integrals here that we could easily handle to produce this and we should be able to recognize that this is two times the hyperbolic cosine of x over two and so there it is, there's our expression so 
that's it for this video. Um, come back and join us for some more videos, and we'll see if we can work some more problems.